So a new discovery in Antarctica. Researchers find new life under an ice shelf, and the discovery was an accident. For centuries, the icy wilderness of Antarctica has remained one of the most mysterious and untamed regions on our planet. But now, a stunning revelation from Russia has sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community and beyond. What has been discovered in the frozen continent that has caused such a stir? Could it be a hidden oasis teeming with life? Or perhaps an ancient artifact buried deep within the ice? Is it evidence of extraterrestrial life or something even more terrifying? The possibilities are endless and the implications are staggering. Russia's discovery has raised more questions than answers, leaving many to speculate about the true nature of the find. Could it be a key to unlocking the secrets of our universe or a harbinger of doom that will forever change life as we know it? Despite the uncertainty and the unknown, one thing is certain. This revelation is a game changer. The world will never be the same again, and the mysteries of Antarctica are only just beginning to be revealed. So, strap in and get ready for an epic journey to the end of the Earth as we explore the terrifying truth about Antarctica. The history of Antarctica is a fascinating story that spans millions of years. The continent was previously part of the Gondwana supercontinent, which also contained South America, Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica. The continents began to drift away over time, with Antarctica splitting from Australia and South America approximately 34 million years ago. Antarctica was a much warmer and more habitable place before it split. With a broad range of vegetation and wildlife, fossil evidence reveals that the continent formerly supported forests, wetlands, and even dinosaurs, notably the titanosaurian sauropod, the biggest dinosaur ever unearthed. The woods and marshes gave rise to tundra and then to ice. Antarctica was buried in ice 14 million years ago, and the continent's climate had changed to the frigid and unforgiving condition we know today. Russia has been actively involved in Antarctica research in recent years, examining the continent's unique ecology as well as the influence of climate change on its ice sheets and ecosystems. Russian scientists have found some alarming discoveries as a result of their research, which have enormous consequences for our knowledge of the Earth's climate and the effects of global warming. According to recent reports, a team of Russian scientists have uncovered evidence of a massive underground lake beneath the ice, and it is believed to be teeming with life. The discovery of this underground lake is significant for a number of reasons. First and foremost, it confirms long-standing suspicions that Antarctica is not just a barren wasteland, but a rich and complex ecosystem that is home to many forms of life. The fact that this lake is located deep beneath the ice also raises intriguing questions about how life is able to survive in such extreme conditions. But perhaps even more alarming is the potential threat that this underground lake could pose to our planet. Scientists believe that if the lake were to be released, it could cause a catastrophic rise in sea levels, as well as release a vast amount of methane, a greenhouse gas that is even more potent than carbon dioxide. In addition to the discovery of the underground lake, Russian scientists have also reported uncovering evidence of ancient, human-made structures on the continent. This has led to speculation that Antarctica may have been inhabited by humans in the distant past, a theory that is sure to capture the imagination of scientists and adventurers alike. While much of the research in Antarctica is focused on understanding the influence of climate change on the continent's ecology, some worrisome and even horrifying discoveries have been uncovered in this isolated and largely uncharted corner of the planet. One of the most worrisome recent discoveries was the discovery of a gigantic 2,000 square mile depression beneath West Antarctica's Thwaites Glacier. A team of researchers from the University of California, Irvine, and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory discovered this hollow in 2019 by using satellite data to generate a precise image of the ice sheet. The finding of this hollow sparked concerns about the stability of the Thwaites Glacier, which is one of Antarctica's largest and most unstable glaciers, accounting for around 4% of global sea level increase. 
Another concerning finding in Antarctica was the discovery of a swarm of uncommon and previously unidentified viruses in the ice. In 2019, an Ohio State University team discovered 28 new viruses in a core sample of ice retrieved from a remote part of Antarctica. While the viruses are not deadly to humans, their findings raise concern about the possibility of other, more dangerous viruses being identified in the ice as the temperature warms and the ice melts. There have also been reports of massive, inexplicable buildings discovered in the ice and beneath the continent's surface. In 2018, a group of British Antarctic Survey scientists reported the finding of a weird, circular structure in the ice that was roughly two kilometers wide. The structure was discovered beneath the ice and appeared to be of artificial origin, raising the possibility that it's the ruins of a long-lost civilization or an extraterrestrial structure. Russia has a long history of doing research in Antarctica, beginning with its first expedition in 1955. Russia has continued to do studies in the continent since then, with a number of research sites established throughout the continent. Over the years, Russia has created a variety of research stations in Antarctica, each with a distinct specialty and field of study. These stations, strategically placed across the continent, give significant information into the effects of climate change on the Antarctic environment. The Bellinghausen Station, located on King George Island in the South Shetland Islands, is one of the most important Russian research outposts in Antarctica. The station, which was established in 1968, is one of the most prominent research facilities on the continent. The Bellingshausen Station's principal scientific focus is the study of the environmental impact of climate change, particularly changes in the temperature and acidity of the surrounding waters, melting of ice shelves, and variation in sea level. The Progress Station, located in the Larsman Hills on the coast of the Prids Bay in East Antarctica, is another prominent Soviet research site in Antarctica. This station, which started in 1988, is primarily concerned with glaciology, which includes the investigation of ice sheet dynamics, ice cores, and ice shelf processes. The station is also utilized for atmospheric research and monitoring the region's ozone depletion. The Vostok Station, located in the heart of Antarctica, near the South Geomagnetic Pole, is another notable Soviet research facility. The station, which first broadcast in 1957, is one of the continent's oldest and most remote. The Vostok Station's principal research focus is climate and geology, particularly the study of the Antarctic ice sheet and the reconstruction of previous climate conditions using ice cores. The Russian Antarctic Expedition has also erected many other research stations across the continent, including the Novolazarevskaya Station in Queen Maud Land's Lazarev Sea area and the Murney Station in East Antarctica's Davis Sea coast. These stations are primarily concerned with meteorology, atmospheric research, and Antarctic ecosystem monitoring. Russian scientists have focused on the study of ice shelves, which are vast floating sheets of ice that surround much of Antarctica. These ice shelves are critical for managing the flow of ice from the continent's interior to the ocean, and their stability is critical for maintaining the Earth's climate equilibrium. Some of Antarctica's greatest ice shelves have started to melt in recent years, raising concerns about the possible impact on sea level rise and global climate patterns. Russian scientists have been researching these ice shelves in depth, tracking their motions and changes over time with satellite photography and other advanced technology. The extent to which some of Antarctica's ice shelves are breaking up was one of the most alarming discoveries made by Russian experts. A large iceberg known as A68 broke off from the Larsen Sea ice shelf in 2017, an occurrence that Russian scientists had been monitoring for months. The iceberg, which was the size of Delaware, served as a sobering reminder of the impact of climate change on Antarctica's ice shelves. Several Antarctic ice shelves have since showed signs of instability, with cracks and fractures forming on their surfaces. Russian scientists have been actively studying these shifts, utilizing data from satellites and other sources to better understand their causes and implications. Another topic of research for Russian scientists has been the ecosystem of Antarctica, notably its distinctive marine life and the effects of climate change on these delicate ecosystems. 
The discovery of new species of marine life in the waters surrounding Antarctica has been one of the most noteworthy discoveries made by Russian scientists in recent years. In 2019, Russian scientists revealed the discovery of a new species of fish in the Weddell Sea, one of the Southern Ocean's coldest and most inhospitable locations. The fish, named Pagathenia borschgrevinki, was discovered in the cold waters near Antarctica and is one of numerous new species discovered in the region in recent years. Simultaneously, Russian scientists have been investigating the implications of climate change on Antarctica's marine ecosystems, particularly the effects of warmer waters and changes in sea ice cover. These changes are having a significant influence on the food webs that support Antarctica's marine life, raising concerns that these ecosystems may be irreparably transformed in the future years. Yet, the implications of climate change on Antarctica go beyond its ice shelves and ecosystems. Russian scientists are also investigating the effects of global warming on the continent's weather patterns, such as changes in precipitation, wind patterns, and atmospheric conditions. The increase of meltwater on the continent's surface is one of the most alarming developments noted by Russian experts. As temperatures rise, more ice melts on Antarctica's surface, perhaps leading to the creation of lakes and rivers on the ice sheet itself. These meltwater lakes can destabilize the ice sheet, increasing its vulnerability to collapse and contribute to rising sea levels. Overall, Russian scientists' research in Antarctica sheds new light on the effects of climate change on one of the world's most remote and inhospitable places. Their findings contribute to our understanding of the Earth's climate system and the possible repercussions of prolonged warming, and they highlight the critical need for action to limit the effects of global warming and protect the world for future generations. The melting of Antarctica's ice sheets is a concern not only for global sea levels, but also for weather patterns and ocean currents around the world, as more fresh water enters the ocean from melting ice sheets, the salinity and density of the water changes, influencing ocean currents that distribute heat across the globe. This might cause dramatic changes in global weather patterns, potentially resulting in more extreme weather events such as storms and heat waves. Despite numerous constraints of doing research in Antarctica, Russian scientists have contributed significantly to our understanding of this unique continent and the impact of climate change on its delicate ecosystems. They have demonstrated via their work that even the most distant and inhospitable places of the Earth are not immune to the consequences of global warming, and that immediate action is required to minimize the effects of climate change and safeguard the Earth's fragile equilibrium. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your views about stunning discoveries made by Russia in Antarctica? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.